obviously it's Friday today yes. and it wouldn't be Friday here on the local vibe if we didn't figure out what we need to watch this weekend. So our first live guest of the morning is always reviewing what's new in movies and television for us all. And he is joining us now, and it's good because, Dale, we've got some rain tomorrow. <laughs> yes. So good morning, Dale. What can you have for us today? Good morning. <laughs> nice to be with all of you. Yes. So the first one we want to hear about is called Devotion. Yeah, this film was in theaters, and I kind of think it slipped by largely unnoticed, and it is well worth watching because of the performance of an actor I spoke about last week, Jonathan Majors, who is a graduate of the School of the Arts School of Drama, and has become probably, I think, right now, the leading black actor in Hollywood. He just seems to be turning up everywhere. This is a story of a Korean War uh, air fighters, and actually the character he plays was the first black uh, 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 sailor to ever fly for the U.S. Navy. So it was a very historical situation. And it's really about not leaving anyone behind. I'm not going to give away the plot. It's very well acted. It's very well directed. And the flight sequences were done by the same guy who did them for uh, Top Gun Maverick. So the level of technical accomplishment in this film is really impressive. And the other reason to see it is the emotional counterpart. Because this is a story of loyalty between two men and this idea that you don't leave someone behind. Oh, wow. I've never actually, I didn't hear about this movie, like when mm. you said it. It may have even slipped by, but I'm, Johnny, like you said, Jonathan Majors is everywhere, and mm -hmm. he's got a bunch of upcoming films, so I'm certain to see that this one will be good, too. Yeah, absolutely. So how many this popcorns did you Paramount give this one? Plus. I'm giving it four popcorns. Wow. Because really well told, and we just don't see films like this very often. That is very impressive, Dale. Okay, that's great to know. Now, I gotta be honest, I haven't really heard much about <laughs> AMC Plus. I have never watched anything mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. Tell us about Mayfair Witches. Well, AMC bought the whole Anne Rice catalog. They did very well with an earlier series that I reviewed called Interview with the Vampire, which was very well done. I can't say the same about Mayfair Witches. I've watched seven episodes of the eight, and I don't have a clue as to what's going on. <laughs> oh, no. I can't follow the plot. There's a, some very good acting, particularly by an actress named uh, Alexandra Daddario. She's the lead, and she's becoming a witch, and she doesn't understand why, and frankly, neither do we. Oh. And you know, sometimes mystery helps a series, sometimes it just confuses you. And I can't make hide nor hair sense of Mayfair Witches. I don't know where it's going. There's some good special effects. That's about all I can recommend in this. And it's a big step down from what uh, AMC was doing with Interview with a Vampire, which was a classy adaptation. This is just a confusing one. Wow. Are we talking about a one popcorn rating here, Dale? <laughs> I'm giving it two okay. because I'm generous. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, two, two, I guess, would, would make it make it make sense. But we have to ask you, another streaming service, though, that I feel is always killing it in the content yeah. game, HBO Max. There's a show called All That Breathes. I have not heard of this one, but, again, I nope. always go to nope. HBO Max first, almost. Nobody has heard of this one. It is <laughs> one of the five documentaries nominated for Best Feature Documentary in this year's Academy Awards. And the reason to see it is it is a gentle beautiful portrait of two young men who are obsessed with saving what amounts to India's national bird, something between a crow and a vault, vulture. It's called the black kite. And as New Delhi, which is where this uh, story is set, becomes increasingly in industrialized, these birds have nowhere to live. And this is a story about two men who help heal injured birds and help save this entire bird population. You say, really, is that enough for a feature film? And the answer is absolutely yes. This wow. is a touching, moving, heartfelt story. These two men are so dedicated to their task. It's selfless. And when you see an example of people really acting selflessly, that's impactful. That affects you emotionally. And that's why how I was affected by this film. It's not a, oh my God, stop the presses. This is an exciting, thrilling adventure film. It's not. It's a slow, gentle portrayal of people who are dedicated to a humanitarian task. And it really moved me, and that's why I'm giving it four popcorns. Wow. Another four popcorn yeah, yeah. rating, Dale. I don't think no. we've ever had two fours in a morning. 
Well, you yeah, know, I'm, watching some of the footage too, before you even started talking about how you felt about it, I said in my, I said to myself, this sounds like a mm -hmm. secret tearjerker. Yeah. <laughs> you don't expect it about birds, but it sounds like it could be. It is, especially this bird who is not a very attractive bird. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, Dale, that's all the time we have. Thank you as mm -hmm. always so much. And for everyone at home, if you enjoyed this week's suggestions, you can always check out even more at Dale's website, dalempollock.com. Here's a refresher of those titles from this morning. Devotion on Paramount Plus, Mayfair Witches on AMC Plus, and All That Breathes on 